Nah, I don't like that. No, try just putting on a, even if it takes a hair more time, putting a little bit more of a wry thing on correct. Okay, 13. All right, it's Friday morning, it's about seven o'clock, and I'm uh, here in Traverse City, getting ready to take off. One last look at the bay before we head out. A Couple of fishermen out there right now. So 4,000 miles, and uh, I stepped on a rock last night, and my driving foot is really sore right now. And uh, so that's no good, but we'll make it. I'm gonna miss the bay, but we'll we'll be okay. Look at all this deluxe engineering. You open the door, and it rains on the doorknob. But this is uh, this is gonna be the beast for the next couple of week days. I have to keep walking back. So this is uh, where we're driving in, rented it from General RV, and uh, it's loaded up to the gills. <laughs> you ready? I am. Okay, here's what it's like in a big, modern, bulky RV thing. And I don't know how to turn that camera around.
Casey, Illinois, where we spent the night last night, is home to the world's largest rocking chair. I hope let's not get run over by the one car I've seen all morning. So, there's the Mini Winnie. This is the world's greatest rocking chair. And then over here, world's largest wind chime. And then there's other big things somewhere in town. But just a little typical Midwestern town. Cute little houses and stuff. Oh, here's another big one. What is this? It's the world's largest something. Is it a teeter-totter? Oh, it's, so it's the world's largest teeter-totter, and there's no jumping on the teeter-totter. So here, we're going to go on the teeter-totter. This is what America... <laughs> I mean, America's got a lot of problems, but man, it's stuff like this. Some guy came up with a harebrained idea. Let's create a teeter-totter, life-size. So here we go. I'm going to teeter on it. So now I'm on the teeter-totter. Keep walking. Keep walking. Alright, so I'm coming back down the world's largest teeter-totter, which is really disappointing because you need more than one person to make it teeter or totter. So today we're going to Elk City, Oklahoma. It's a 10-hour drive. Not going to stop. The biggest thing that I'm uh, really dreading is getting through St. Louis, which is in a couple hours from now. And then it's the, almost the same route that I take down to Snyder. If I turned left, actually, I'm an hour and a half from that bus. But I have sworn to my wife that we will not uh, be going to see my bus in Snyder. Which is disappointing, but sometimes you have to make deals that you have Continue to live with. Continue for so. one mile. So, there we go. Mini Winnie teeter-totter, Casey, Illinois. Visit it. Try the veal. So it's like you're in a hurry, right? You want to get going. Everything takes forever. Camping trip number one. Do not buy peanut butter that is separated when you're using plasticware, because I'm about to break a knife off into this thing, and you can't stir peanut butter like this with plastic knives. So that's a note. These have a convenient opening thing. See, it's perforated, but you can't actually open it. Come on. That's going to end up, this brown paper bag is going to be where 80% of our food ends up, because it's easy to get to. Alright, so here we go. Let's see if I can try to figure out a way to... Why do, you, why do they even make peanut butter like this? <sighs> yeah, fucking shit running all over. So this is for my wife. I'm having a nice, simple, clean ham and cheese sandwich. And she's getting this gooey, messy fucking thing. 
and I should have been on the road an hour ago, but, so, here we go. Okay, well, that's about as good as it's going to be. There we go. Spread it out on our sprouted bread. There we have our peanut butter sandwich, which we'll put together. And there's my ham sandwich. And so now we're going to eat and then leave. Well, this morning we were in, <clears throat> I don't even know what city we're in. We're somewhere in uh, Oklahoma near Elk City. And we're staying at a campground that I could only do, be defined as the sub suburbs. I mean, look at beautifully poured level concrete slabs. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in RVs as far as the eye can see. Just nothing but fiberglass safe to assume there's like no soul here you know you take your Cadillac to go camping with you on the weekend and not that there's anything wrong with this lifestyle I mean this is certainly good for people but certainly not as fun as owning a vintage Greyhound bus and driving around it stormed like crazy last night it was uh, really pretty wicked get wind gusts were clocked at like 65 miles an hour last night or 52 miles an hour so anyway if you ever see a dually go past you with a Jayco trailer going 150 miles an hour this is where they stay at night this is like their their cave their den 
but the place is nice. I mean, <clears throat> came in, it's very easy. It's got your own camp circle. I don't know, for somebody who lives in northern Michigan, this is all pretty surreal because it's pretty generic. That's the bathroom complex and uh, looks nicer than a state park by a long shot. But they give you a hookup. You can have water and you can have electricity. I'm sure they've got a dump station somewhere. And uh, there's another several hundred thousand dollar RV way down there, diesel pusher. So there was one parked right next to us that got out earlier this morning. So this is it. <clears throat> the Mini Winnie has been holding up well. Got the pop outs going. My wife's doing a little yoga over there. And uh, I don't know, all in all, it's been going pretty good. Been watching the bug count. I wonder how many bugs got washed off in the rain last night. I mean, it really was rocking this thing. Eh, still. Eh, I mean, it's an okay vehicle. It's uh, very practical, <clears throat> just not a whole lot of art to it. So we'll get going. We'll give you a quick uh, tour on the way out. Look at this. Doesn't this look like a suburb? This looks like, you know, there's Voyage Drive. Look at all the street names. There's Safari Drive. Ooh, he's scrubbing his roof. And look at, there's water. They've got irrigation. This is amazing. Look at what streets, we're on Excursion Drive. There's Explore Drive. So see, people, can, you can actually put your sewer pipe in, like, permanently. And then there's a couple semis at the back. Yeah. So that thing's probably $300,000 right there, that RV. He's got his sewer hooked up and I guess that would be a little something I'm going to get used to is the idea of hooking up your sewer. Here's the dog run. You get all of six feet. The fenced dog run. Anyway, so if you live in a suburb, you could see how this would be very comfortable to you. Perfect lawns, irrigation, you know, sprinkler systems, um, you know, everything, your little perfect camp stove and stuff like that. This is really a campground for people with OCD, wouldn't you say? Yes. I mean, you must have to have some compulsive disorders to really feel comfortable in this environment. And these are former accountants. They're probably former, like, administrators, and they're living it up, right? They're living the high life. They're getting back to nature. That's exactly what this is. Here's Odyssey Drive. I'm making a right-hand turn on Odyssey Drive. But they did a very nice job. I mean, this, this complex is, is beautiful. Um, it's just not exactly what I would do. That's why we stayed here for basically, I don't know, 10 hours or eight hours and we're on our way out. You've got to see before we leave the entrance to this place, I mean, it looks like a visitor center, like a state visitor center. I bet you can just rent little campers. You just drive up and they have campers for you. Huh. The thing is, half the people are out. They're probably all out eating breakfast right now. So this is the quote-unquote visitor center. And I mean, look. It, doesn't that look like, you know, I mean, that's quite a building. There's a reflecting pond, because you need one of those. Look at it, it's a three-tiered cascading reflecting pond. So. So there we go, there's our RV experience last night. <laughs> 